You're saying this, why? I want to be honest with you. My, that's noble. What is that, from some script you auditioned for in the 40s? No, it's just me talking to you. I'm so grateful. Straight arrow, George. You, you go to New York and you fuck some whore and you run back to tell me. She's not a whore. Oh, but she's an actress. A singer. Does she blow smoke rings with a cunt? Is it a fling you want? It's not a fling. Oh, you're in love. Two weeks in a hotel room. She makes me feel young. Have you seen yourself, George? Your face is going. Don't do this. Here, Stop your it. eyes, your hair, your stomach. You think no one notices? Tony, don't do this. But you've got your projects, haven't you? You're going to be a director. You'll sit in your little canvas chair, polishing your balls. Thank God I'm rid of that hag I had to screw. What was her name? The one who paid for everything? The one who bought me a fucking house? For God's sake. You want publicity? You'll get it. I'll say you're a red. A faggot. A lush. Nobody can call that a lie. You know what? You never helped me. You never helped me. You could have talked to Eddie. You could have gotten me something, but you didn't. Because you liked me where I was in a fucking red suit. You liked that. Well, that's not who I am. You understand? God damn you. But, George, that's all you were good for. Ten-year-olds and shut-ins. That was the best you were ever going to be. I knew that. Why didn't you? <laughs>